Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Rene Pinto and I've been traveling for the last few months around Europe. And this time I took my family and a little family trip to Paris. So obviously we started with Disneyland and since I've just been exploring the city, this morning we did the beautiful Versailles and now we are exploring the city at night. Hope you enjoy. Hi guys, Hi guys. Welcome, welcome back, back to our back. channel. So basically it's already in the afternoon. We spent all morning visiting the beautiful Chateau of Versailles. And you're living we'll here, here. Of course and you can yeah, see. We decided since there was like a big video, so we decided to do another video for the hour afternoon. And we can already see the Eiffel Tower there, which we're gonna see next. Uh, so yeah, super excited. So it's really just from the outside. It's like this big pavilion. And obviously we have like the big doom. It seems so pretty. I don't know how we see this in one hour, but let's see. So just from the outside, it seems so pretty. And you have the dome that's in gold. And this yeah, looks and like a like palace. Yeah, this little like, door oh, yeah, shaped. Look, the entry the is way. amazing. Yeah, it's very nice. We just entered the Hotel des Invalides and basically this serves as a lot of things. So it was built as Louis XIV, it's basically a place, it was like a hospital and a hotel for the invalids from the war because France had the largest army in all of Europe so he was obviously worried what happened to the army when he got back. So basically then he built this for all the people who lost arms, legs, uh, war injuries, everything like that. So they'll be treated here in the hospital. And it was later used by Napoleon I, the emperor. One of the most famous rooms here is a room where is the coffin. Uh, I think it's the ashes, I don't think it's the body of Napoleon I. So we're super excited to see that, that because yeah. well, obviously history nerds. So we mainly came here to see the tomb of Napoleon, but they also have a museum of arms here. So let's see that first. First room, we have like a little exposition of the first war in the 14th century. So it's all for like, like swords, like weaponry. And then also have like a few, which are very nice, a few cannons. So basically, this is armor that was used to fight the Hundred Year Old War. Is a cabinet of Japanese apartments, so can you? Yeah. Oh, that's so nice! Here we have like the molds, the armory of ours. So basically, this entire building is holding the crypt of Napoleon and like a few others so it's like massive I think it's totally worth to check it out even just like from the outside you can just like walk here on the street and just see it and take a great photo because it's amazing building we forgot to say but even today as of now the Hotel d'Invalide still has as its primary function the original function of being a hospital for the invalids of war and veterans so even today it still works mainly as that but it's so fun that even like 400 years later, it still remains to its first purpose. We have like 15 minutes left, so kind of running. If you do come see, it's like at least like a one hour visit, but we're trying to do it in like 40 minutes. So yeah, a little hurry than usual, but really want to see. Basically just walking in it's like a huge church with like a few altars. That's the main altar. And it's like super pretty. Like the ceiling, it's amazing. And there's like a lot of uh, altars to the persons who died. The important people died in war fighting for friends. But then here, 
the most important one. Obviously, the tomb of Napoleon the First, and it's amazing. I thought it would be like a tiny thing in a room, but then it's, it's huge. Like that's a person there, so you can see like how big it is. Ooh, it's like what, ten meters from the ground at least? Oh, yeah. It's incredible. The remains of Napoleon that was in the island where he was in prison and then he transferred them to here. And now it's open to the public and obviously it's a great place to come in Paris because I mean Napoleon was obviously one of the greatest figures in the history of France and I think everyone knows the name of Napoleon. But honestly this feels like a tomb of a king. Yeah. I, I feel like we yeah. saw a lot of tombs of kings smaller. This has a whole building. We have to basically be kicked out. <laughs> yeah, the, the man was like, we're closing. And I'm like, it's five more minutes. It's because we are running, minutes. trying to see every everyone, because it's not just Napoleon who's there. I think it's totally worth to come. I, I know the True. price is like around 14 euros. Like military history, I think it's, it's totally worth it. If yeah. you're not really into it, I think it's kind of a waste, because that's the whole theme of, the, of this. But honestly, like, I think the tomb is Amazing. so nice. Way better. I thought it was just like a tiny a room tiny in a tiny like coffin. Nothing like True. this. This is like monumental so I think it's totally worth to check it out even just for that and now you're going trying to explore the city a little more before getting too dark to yeah take it's pictures. like six so it's uh, it's getting pretty dark yeah <laughs> just need to share this because this is like a new level of addicted to GPS so basically we're going to the Eiffel Tower and he's like oh let me put the GPS and then I'm like are you seeing the pointy thing you just need to walk towards the pointy thing yeah I know it's not hard but I'm saying that GPS was wrong yeah, JPS was saying the Eiffel Tower was there and we're like, pretty really sure it's there because we're like seeing it. Yeah. And it's already lightened, so it means we're very, very light on our schedule. The lights already turned, so this is what it looks like. And that's the Eiffel Tower. So basically, like in Paris, everything is like looks amazing. So you have there the dome we just saw from the Invalids, and you have like this building. No idea what it is, like. How pretty is it, honestly? Even the train station. So the first That's glimpse so of the nice. Eiffel Tower and it's so pretty with the lights on. That's so cute! Time of the day, people jogging here and bring their dogs. And so, we have a lot of good dogs here. So we just spent the last 10 to 20 minutes just taking pictures of the tower. It's very nice. And you can see like in the sky, like the... The like ferro uh, lighthouse. Lighthouse, yeah. I think I have to say, like, I don't know if it's because like you create like this image in your imagination that it's like this ginormous thing or something. I mean, it's pretty big, obviously, but I don't think it's as big as we thought. I don't know from the outside, it doesn't seem like that big. But yeah, I don't know if it's too far away or something like that. But maybe when you get closer, it will yeah, yeah, yeah. be different. just coming here to take photos and obviously see it from up close and just going beneath because you have to see it if you're yeah. coming to Paris of but course yeah, we're not coming up because firstly like the ticket is super expensive super expensive like you can climb to the first floor the second floor and then like really the top and I think at the top it's like 27 euros which is so expensive and I paid really? that money like six years ago when I came to Paris and but well I was like in 10th grade but yeah, I remember I was like, I climbed all the way and I was like, and I was like, oh, okay, like, is this it? Like, it's pretty view, but like, there's nothing to do there and you pay so much money and it's kind of like... It's like the base, the foundation of course, it's like all the metal and iron. So it's around 8 and I think we'll end the day in this beautiful place. Yeah, because it's like day very early, so yes, we're like super lot. tired, super hungry, my feet are killing me. Paris is one of the favorite cities. Yeah, I now. think like of all of Europe so far, Paris definitely is one of our favorite uh, cities. Tops, yeah. So far it's been amazing. It's amazing. And I mean, 
Well, I mean, okay, you can kind of see. Yeah. So yeah, tomorrow is going to be our last day in Paris, uh, which is so sad. Which is so sad, and you are very sad about it because yeah. it's our last day here. But it's still going to be a lot of fun. We still have a lot of things to see tomorrow. True. So if you want to see that, subscribe. Hit the notification bell to get notified every time it comes up a new Paris series. Hope you enjoy it. Bye. Bye. So basically, like as soon as as soon as we're leaving and we hold up the camera and like save everything, the Eiffel Tower starts doing this. So we can't leave anymore. So yeah, now we're back. <laughs> Don't really know if it's like because it's changing the hour. Now it's Very similar. now it's nine o'clock. So maybe it's because of that. But it's very nice. 